Well, hey there, folks. It's Alex here from the show Alex Builds Stuff. It's a show where I sh build stuff and I show you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's been a weekend since um, I was last with you. Went to Squamish this weekend with Megan and uh, went to go shoot uh, a race there. Turns out that there wasn't any commercial photography allowed other than the ones the event had actually hired. So it's kind of a bust, but we still really enjoyed a beautiful weekend. Um, I'm back here at Michelle's working on the trailer today, and uh, guess what? It's still raining. Um, so I have built this uh, little kind of like tent village <laughs> so that I can work under the trailer because I have ex exterior work to do. I'm going to be drilling eight holes in the front of the trailer so that I can mount uh, the strip for the bunk to sit in. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's what I'm going to get to doing, and uh, we're just going to take you along for the journey today. So, start it up. enjoy. It's just pouring rain and uh, I'm drilling those holes in the front of the bowler but I need to uh, what is it I, I need like a second set of hands to push the, the bolts through so that I can thread a nut on the other side um, but Michelle's working and it's pouring rain so I'm just gonna get to, up to some other stuff just to keep me busy while I wait but I'm so freaking sick and tired of this rain. It's just it's stupid. Freaking stupid. Holy heck, would you believe it? It's actually freaking sunshine outside. I can't, just unreal. But look, Michelle's gonna come around that corner in just a moment. Cause there's pepper right there. Okay, maybe she's not, I don't know. Um, all right, so kind of been busy. I haven't been filming, but um, I got the uh, front. I got this rail in place now. So that is going to be responsible for holding the bunk in place. I still have to cut that piece right there. Um, but yeah, that's in place now. And um, so all of those have to be uh, sealed with white Sikaflex. Um, there is sealant behind them, but I just want to make sure that they're really, really nice and watertight. And then, in addition to that, I just finished. Um, I just finished repairing this section of rot here. So that is all, like it, this is a uh, anti-mold mildew paint. I've got it on both sides of the wood, and then I've got the edges sealed with Sikaflex on the bottom. So yeah, it should be good. I just gotta put some trim there and then do another coat of paint. So things are coming together really quick. Now that it's sunny, sunny outside and I wanna work fast. <laughs> Um, and then the refrigerator just came in as well. So, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on. It's, uh, hopefully I can just smash out a bunch of stuff today. Okay, uh, yeah, I got the bunk in, which is sweet. You can see that. Um, so this kind of down here, uh, this folds up so that it's a little bit easier to get out and then this whole thing lifts out so that Michelle can take it out and then use this area down here as a seating area um, when she's by herself, but then when she has her niece and nephew, 
she can use this area as a bunk area. So, finally got that done. Now I can focus on other things. Okay, so, <laughs> oh man, one of the next projects is replacing the roof vent in this thing. And the roof vent that is in there is in rough shape. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a job to get out. This is gonna be fun. Alrighty then, uh, the roof vent is done, uh, at least on the outside, so now I gotta do the inside, but um, this feels good, <laughs> it feels like I'm moving forward <laughs> on this trailer build. Um, I've been waiting to do this one for a while, this is the first thing I was gonna do, but the rain just kept up, so I was like, I'm not gonna do that in the rain. Um, yeah, thumbs up. So I just came in here um, and saw the old uh, surround for the old vent and I held it up and it fits perfectly so I don't even have to cut the other one that came with the actual fan. I love it when the plan comes together. I didn't plan this but I like it when an unplanned plan comes together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, sunshine, I'm happy now. <laughs> okay, bye. Today, 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 what you gonna do? Today. I was wrong. It happens sometimes. Now, remember when you do this, you make the mark if you're ever installing one of these things. Don't cut this line. Measure from the top to the bottom. Take that measurement and then measure from the bottom up. And then cut this line. Okay, now that I've done the uh, roof vent, I've kind of started to pluck away at um, pulling some of the unnecessary junk out of here. Um, I pulled out the entire old electrical system from the 
put something in a little bit more um, up to date. I've also pulled out a lot of the gas lines in here um, just because it had a three-way fridge, uh, it had a propane furnace, and it has a propane stove. Now the propane stove is going back in. Um, it's going to go right here, but I'm still waiting on the countertop. Um, yeah, and I've just been pulling old propane lines out, which a lot of them are pretty gross and mangled and not very safe. So I've been doing that there on the ground over there. And unfortunately, I broke this one. I broke that line trying to get it off because the, the fitting wouldn't loosen off. And um, so I just ended up twisting it until it broke, um, thinking that I wasn't actually putting it back in, but I am now. So um, I gotta put a joiner in that line. And then, um, yeah, the only propane thing in here will be the propane stove. It's a little bit safer. cleaned up that whole little area down there a little bit it's time to start uh, planning out what we're going to be putting in there so I got we've got a energy battery monitoring system so this one's really nice it just plugs straight into um, the BMS port for our energy lithium battery so it's a nice little really simple like face mount and it's just going to tell um, Michelle the state of the battery. It's really good for battery battery monitoring. Battery monitoring. Battery mon Battery monitoring. Yeah. Um, this right here. This is an external port um, for her solar panel. So we're not actually putting a solar panel on the roof. We're making it um, transportable or movable so that she can park in the shade. Um, and then have a solar panel out in the sun. So I'm using this. I don't know if it's ever going to focus. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so this is this is actually really nice. It's 10 gauge wire, which is the same um, as your typical solar uh, solar cable wire, whatever. And um, yeah, I'll just wire that straight to the uh, uh, to the MPPT charge controller this right here this is a Nunco genius system so it's just a, a trickle charger um, and this is for charging her lithium battery so this one is the 10 amp yeah the 10 amp version um, and it has a setting for lithium batteries which is uh, really awesome this is the uh, AC port for the exterior so that she can just plug an uh, extension cord into her battery charger from outside. She doesn't have to open the door and put an extension cord in. Uh, and this right here is a Renogy 700 watt pure sign inverter. And then, of course, we got our associated shrink wrap, shrink wrap connectors, things. Yeah, all stuff for wiring. So, we're uh, we're ready to go. Well, hey there, folks. It is the next day, and um, yeah, it's an electrical day, I believe. So that means I got to find a place for all the stuff that I showed you yesterday. So that's what I'm going to do first. Um, I think I'm going to start by cutting in um, all like the little readout and USB port and doodads and stuff like that. And then um, 
I'll have a place for all of that stuff, and then I'm going to cut, not cut, fill a hole, and make a plate so that I can put this in. And then after that, I think I start, uh, yeah, I just start getting after it um, with all the wiring stuff, so there we go. shells uh, it's the switch for the inverter to turn it on that's uh, battery percentage readout and then this is just you have USBs voltage meter etc etc and then there's lots of space for another USB panel or something like that later on so yep okay so I'm starting to modify uh, things a little bit to get power going or, or uh, install the electrical system and um, down here this is where the old AC used to come in um, and there's like one of those hatches on the outside where where you could like pull the extension cord out of right <laughs> um, but what happens with those is they have kind of like this um, system where you, there's like a little door and then there's like plastic pieces that close in around the AC cable, but because they get worn out and they break off then there's a space that's opened up. And then of course, when you're charging your, your trailer or whatever, um, the cord like comes out, goes onto the ground and then there's this open spot. So it's like a perfect little bridge for a mouse to go up and into your trailer. And sure enough, when I opened up down there, there was a mouse nest in there. So that, is why I'm installing the um, exterior NOCO plug-in so that there's as few holes into the interior of the trailer as possible. Don't let there be holes in your thing, otherwise mice get in. I don't like mice very much. And just so that you know what I'm talking about here, those are the little fingers that get worn out that are supposed to go around the cable and then this door doesn't do a very good job. And then yeah, it's a nice big space for a mouse to get in. So I'm gonna take this out and replace it. Okay, there you have it. Just with a little bit of work, you can have a nice little plate like this. Now, Noko and I'm going like that.
there you go. That looks pretty sharp, I think. So this is gonna be solar. That will be trickle charger for AC. And this I will just let dry and then cut it off and reseal over top of it later. Now that I'm finished uh, the outside, it's time for the inside. I've already been working away doing a few little things. Um, so you can see in here, let's get that out of the way. I just built like a little stand for the fuse block so that it can be easily accessed and seen from this cubby. Because obviously there's gonna be a sink in here and a stove there and yeah. I've mounted the MPP controller, MPPT con uh, charge controller, and the wires from that plug just are right here. So they will just shoot up into there. I made a little um, kind of bracket thing for the, uh, what do you call it? This thing, the uh, <laughs> trickle charger. Yeah, so that's nice in place. It's not moving. Um, Obviously I put this back on and have started to um, kind of just put wires in place. I don't have a battery yet, so unfortunately everything has to be kind of just like put in place. Um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna start wiring up everything, starting with the fan. And then I gotta figure, a way, figure out a way of getting this all the way down into there. We shall see. Hey there again. Uh, just been plugging away on this thing, taking a bit of a break, eating food, sustenance. It's important, you know, just keep me going. Okay, so I've actually knocked out a lot of the electrical system already. Um, pretty much everything is hooked up, except for the lights. I need a battery to test those. Um, but yeah, everything else is, is ready to go. I just need batteries and I need circuit breakers. So, so yeah, it looks a little bit like a bit of a mess right now, but that's just because everything isn't perfectly tucked away. But it's getting there. Um, I also fixed the gas line that I accidentally broke. And let me tell you, if you know what this is, this is a flare kit. People, get yourself a high quality flare kit. Flare kit. My gosh, it is incredible how good they are. Perfect flare. Okay, so now that the gas is fixed, the electrical is done, it's time to start in the refrigerator. Okay, so I'm done for the day. Um, refrigerator required a little bit of fitment. So tomorrow I'm gonna cut, 
um, like quarter inch pieces to kind of fill this in to make it look pretty. And uh, yeah, that's the. Then I'll just wire it to the fuse block there, and that'll be that. Then I have to start making these drawer faces again, making the cabinet door face, that face, all those things out of that wood. <laughs> oh boy. Once again, I'm very much fading. It's time to go to sleep. Or drink a beer. Anyway, see you tomorrow.